Okay, we're here from The Gamer and we're going to try and do a chain of recommendations. So I'm going to start it and I'm going to recommend Inferni, which is a real-time deck builder slash battle royale game, which is heavily inspired by Magic the Gathering. Let's go ask those chaps who the next game they would recommend here. So let's get this started. Okay, right, so I recommended Inferni. We're now gonna ask Cyril who he, he would recommend, which game, sorry. Who would you recommend? Absolutely, so this game just there, uh, Z Zillion, it's a card game also. We have a card game. I think there is common DNA there. Go and check it out. Chapter Inferni recommended Z Zillion. Now we're at Z Zillion, and Ray here is gonna tell us his recommendation. My recommendation is Little G Gator Game over there. Perfect, brilliant, thank you. No worries. So we're here with Annie. Uh, obviously, Gator Game was recommended by Z Zillion. So now we're here. Tell us which game at WAS would you recommend? I would go, I'd recommend and go check out the, the Quiet Things. So obviously Annie from Playtonic has recommended the Quiet Things. So now you're going to recommend another game for us. Which would you recommend at WAS? There's a very lovely puzzle game called Paper Trails. I highly recommend it. <laughs> We've been recommended Paper Trail, which is a favourite of ours already. But we're here with Henry. Henry's going to tell us which game he recommends at WAS. Cool. So on the uh, paper crafty theme, I'd recommend a game called Piece Together. Uh, um, which is a scrapbooking game and uh, is kind of crafty and, and nice and cosy as well. Perfect. Thank you. We're going to check that one out. Okay, so Peace Together got recommended, but there's no one here, so we don't want to break our chain. I am going to recommend another game, so I'm going to recommend Harvest Hunt, because I played it earlier and I loved it. Let's go check that one out. So let us know which game would you now recommend? I would recommend Children of the Sun. It's a bullet puzzle game. Yeah. Describe. It's hard to describe, it's got an amazing style. Awesome, so obviously Children of the Sun was recommended, we're here with Andy. You're going to tell us which game you would recommend it was. Uh, I would recommend Crow Country. It's like a 90s throwback survival horror with like a really cool like lo-fi visual style. Awesome, so we're obviously here for Crow Country, and now which game would you recommend? I would recommend Grapple Dogs. It's like a platformer with a grappling hook and a dog, and it's great. Go play it. So we are now here to ask the lovely Super Rare people which game they would recommend it was. So I like I'll Be Brave Tomorrow. It's a game and they're donating 50% of their income, I guess, to Great Ormond Street Hospital, which is so lovely. It's a lovely little platform with a little bird. I would recommend it. So, which game at WAS would you recommend? Uh, I would definitely recommend Pine Hearts. If you like cute, cozy games, uh, that's the one for me. So, which game at WAS would you recommend? Um, Cult of the Lamb. Brilliant. So, now we're here at the Devolver booth. Which game would you recommend? Ooh, there's there are a lot of games here today, but I, I really like that VR game with, I think it's called Paradise Arcade or Arcade Paradise. It's got a really cool vibe, so yeah, I'd recommend that, I guess. Now we're here to ask who they would recommend. Um, I would recommend uh, actually not only one game, but the whole console system. It's called Playdate. You can play it over there. And I love it because except the uh, manual classic buttons, it has a crank. And it's awesome because it's uh, developers use it in very creative way to play the games. I love it. I think this is something uh, a fresh air in our industry. Very with all the with all the respect, nerdish and geekish, but I love it. I need to buy one. I can't afford it right now, but maybe uh, creators will. You know, you know me. I'm quite popular, so wink, wink. No, I'm joking. I will buy it anyway. There so the play date got recommended, but there's no one here. So this is probably a good place to end our chain of recommendations. Um, but we had some really good shout outs today. So make sure you check out all of the games or consoles as it were. And uh, we'll see you next time.